It's Clinton's fault! What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Nightly Tiger Show. We got a couple new people here, unfortunately. Um, well, not unfortunately. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> come back, come back. So, Michael and Samadhi couldn't be with us tonight because Michael has callbacks for uh, the next theater production here, and Samadhi is sicker than a dog. And I don't think you want to hear sicker than a dog, man. So, I please. Do. I do too. <laughs> Start, starting with Caden over there. It's please dark. introduce yourself. I'm Caden. Uh, I'm 19 and I'm a freshman here. I'm Bond, I'm 21, and this is my last semester. <laughs> what does that mean? Does it mean a freshman? No. Well, I'm a sophomore. Okay, there you're we sophomore. go. You're sophomore, you're sophomore, alright. Alright. And your name, sir? My name? Yes, you're... Introduce yourself. For all intents and purposes, because <laughs> I'm dead in certain areas of the country, not a joke, actually. You should I will go it. by the initials of T.H. Which people cannot identify. TJ Hooker. TJ Hooker. <laughs> because those are my initials. <laughs> so yeah, let's just go with that. I'm, I'm at the middle one. I'm TJ Hooker. That is my middle one. <laughs> We're just going to call you T then. Okay, my name is TJ Hooker. You I'm call him whatever you want. He's Hooker to me. Actually, <laughs> sort of 26, but 18, really. And I'm a freshman and an actor. <laughs> and, a writer and philanthropist. Also, world class juggler of air. Let's continue. <laughs> oh my god. As you can see, I brought a very interesting bunch with me today. And as you all know, my name is Jay, and I'm the host of this time ticking time bomb of a show. It's really ticking now. Should it is ticking now. I mean, I won't be surprised if we get canceled after this episode. <laughs> you can't be talking about stuff like that with all the terrorism going on. Oh god. god. Oh. Wait, uh, did any of you have a clock on them? Especially uh, with a half hour here. Did a clock on them? Uh, yeah, right here. Get out of here. <laughs> Look at this guy. He is so fancy right now. Why are you so fancy, sir? Tell the camera. Look into all their souls. It makes me look damn good. I don't think they heard you, because <laughs> I can't see the part. It makes me look damn good. Okay. That's that <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? It makes him look giant concrete wall in the middle of an ocean good. Okay. Damn. We're talking about dams, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, <laughs> damn, right. So, oh, this, these two guys are actually both writers, and tonight... Actually, no, we gotta get the boring stuff out of the way. I almost yes. forgot. Boring, boring stuff. We'll actually start with... <coughs> boring, trivial stuff. Actually, no. Not The game is last. Okay. So, the first thing, although this isn't how we did it last I time, but... I was a writer. <laughs> oh, I know this one, too. Alright, so... First app of the week, not first app of the week. Uh, we'll start off with the app of the week. It's Easy Bib. Uh, having trouble citing your sources in uh, your essays? Don't worry with Easy Bib. You can simply scan your book and wow, the person who typed this up, which is not me. I can give it. Are, are you talking about the? All right, please. Easy do. Bib. Um, it's a fantastic web source where you, uh, it's a website where you put in any information about this book or article that you're writing from the internet, it'll automatically cite it, and that's anywhere from like a, a website to a database if people are very unfamiliar with citing databases, which I was, but that saved my butt on my last essay, and I pulled off a very good grade. Check it out, guys. <laughs> Definitely check out EasyBib if you have trouble citing things. With in-text citations, you should probably check um, Purdue OWL. Hmm. All right then. Recommendations. <laughs> so you've used EasyBib a lot? I have used EasyBib yeah. since last year, and my AP lit teacher would whip us if we did not. Oh, that's true. We both had psychology. Oh no 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 no. no? AP lit. Uh, oh. West. Uh, yeah, we had to use EasyBib. I mean, it's good, but it likes to leave out some information. It leaves out it some information, but it's easily able to pass over from the untrained eye of an overconfident AP Lit teacher. Thank you. <laughs> yep. Alright, and so quickly uh, to do the events. Uh, today is December 3rd. Uh, thank God we're in December. I would have bawled my eyes out if we were still in November yeah, with this. We're still taking Christmas trees down from November. I, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so tonight, just real quick, uh, is the Life Through Lens 
uh, excuse me, Life Through Word and Lens uh, Showcase with Creative Writing, which is why I mentioned these two, because they're both writers. Not he, actually, not. Oh, do you not have something in there? He's I a philanthropist. Oh, oh yeah. I apologize. So and this is uh, the only guy I know. Yes, that'll be good. So this is occurring in the right room at 6.30, hopefully. Oh, it's at 6.30? I thought it was at 7. No, it is at 6.30. Oh, boy. Okay, then. That means we got to go quick. It's okay. um, <laughs> so hopefully you guys go out and see that. Hopefully I'll... I mean, it's right over there. We can oh, yeah. I'll check it out. We just this. walk. Um, yeah. Uh, also, Cali Free Movie tonight. Oh, God, I wish I could go. This is the third movie night I've missed. It's not a good idea. I need a ride. Yes. No, I just don't have time. I gotta go do homework. Yeah, I feel it. Like. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty good. Um, I mean, homework in a movie theater is very difficult. I'm uh, <laughs> popcorn and chowder. Uh, definitely. Not games. They got Creed playing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Creed playing. Okay. Okay. All right, so since this episode's gonna be released on Monday, uh, both on Monday and Tuesday, there are gonna be intramurals of some kind. I know on Monday it's Speedball. I don't know what it is on Tuesday. Uh, that next Thursday, next week, is the Employee, employee Retirement Celebration, also in the right room, as well as Iceless Skating Rink at the Rec Building from 6 to 10. Oh, that's just like normal cool. skating, except for without for ice. Yeah, exactly. Ah, and so then there's normal, an, uh, it's socks. It's normal skating. Actually, that one doesn't work. But the one day I want to get out to people is December 12th, where we have a women's and men's basketball game. Oh shoot, no, that's at. Never mind, forget what I was saying. I thought that was another game here. It's okay. But I think scared of the boring stuff, so. I'm gonna go to the guy right next to me because we talked about this. What exactly are you showcasing tonight, sir? Ah, uh, now, Life Through Word and Lens is a showcase of many of the arts from uh, the writing, the creative writing corners, uh, literature, and I think some uh, films, some film pieces, some clips from independent works. Uh, you just, it's a display of exactly what you can present. Mm -hmm. So it's a very artsy, fancy presentation of the no, skills so. of the people <laughs> around the campus that are gifted in the creative department. So what are you... Sh that then that's my question, but what are you showcasing? What am I showcasing? Yes. I am showcasing many of my fantastic, extravagant pieces that I have written during times of great turmoil and stress and bounding pressure. So, they're all intentionally on different subjects. Completely different subjects that scatter about over a plethora of subjects that don't have any real connection whatsoever, but it's perfect to read because you don't have to follow along. Sounds like my family at Thanksgiving. I, read, <laughs> I, I wrote about your family during Thanksgiving, I guess. Um, regardless, it's, uh, I called it uh, controlled chaos. Preaching to the congregation, which is like, it's mm -hmm. funny because it's a euphemism, but, but preaching to the congregation is what you're supposed to do. So, kind of fits in with that. I like to play with words. I have it in the right room. You should check it out. So can I ask, uh, what kind of process goes into making these kind of things? Because I've, I've known Tim for like a really long time. That's brother's right. <laughs> That's what control. And I've never brothers. bothered to actually ask this because unlike Tim, I'm lucky if I'm just able to write my name down on a piece of paper. It's okay. I have spell checked a lot of his things. He's getting better. <clears throat> That's good. Yeah, That's he's good. Got up to two full periods in a sentence before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping for three by the end of the year. You said Do controlled it. chaos, and I that struck something in my head, and I realized because I had to look it up. That was the name of Jeff Jeff Dunham's most recent show. Really? Yeah, because he can actually control the puppets. I get it. So it's a yeah. it's an allegory to a puppeteer. Yeah, that's when so he. So it's uh, capitalism. Okay, I'm sorry. That's that's when. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get back to Caden's question. Uh, I understand the like the capitalism references. What? I notice them a lot. <laughs> oh, I love capitalism. Okay. <laughs> okay, what were you saying? Uh, just, I was just wondering what kind of process you go through to, you know, write all these things. Like, I was at a, what was it called? The Poetry Night? Yeah, the Poetry Night. I was there for that, and the poem that you wrote, I was just trying to think of the process that you go through to write something like that. Well, actually, it's all about, um, what I usually do is I carry a notebook around with me, like a notepad or something, something to write down on. And... Whenever I have this like sense of uh, it's a sensation of emotion or this good thought that's in my head, I just write it down. And uh, there was one day that I was exceptionally angry, 
And that is what, at that poetry reading, uh, why, that's what why, why I, speak? I speak turned into. Yeah, it was. Uh, I was very angry. I was like, oh, "Why are you trying to stop what I'm saying? Oh, I'm gonna say it all right here. That's what I'm gonna do." And so I did. I said it all in that little notebook, and then I was like, "Okay, so I'm I'm, I'm not that angry anymore." I mean, I, I, I guess I was a little bit out of line. But this is great. <laughs> so I read it. I mean, I don't know. It's not it works. Really that artsy fartsy, but. Whatever the method is, it works usually for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. couldn't even be, it might not even be a creative writer. If you just write something down, people will construe it as art regardless. So. Heck, Harry Potter books. First oh, yeah. book was written down on napkins. Mm -hmm. Harry Potter is really? terrible. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know if you guys can see it, but he's wearing the Slytherin crest both on his ring and around his neck. I think I've seen this ring before. This is an amazing ring. Yeah, you want to show us one? My, yeah, go ahead and go, go walk up and show that to him, man. And, for the record, look at how cool that is. Totally kidding. Dr. <laughs> Potter. Uh-oh. We have switched spots. <laughs> I'll, let, I'll let you sit next to your plaything. Yes. <laughs> He's mine. Oh, You're just sad that you can't master the game. <laughs> oh, oh ouch. Uh, Alright, then. Club Boomerang. I think I'm doing good. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because something that gets thrown at you always comes back? Well, that's part of it. <laughs> it's like a Somerset song. Oh wait, it is. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I, I can definitely attest to what you're saying though about writing. Cause it's, I mean, here, I won't show them, but I have, I swear to God, a... I am controlled chaos in my work. Jaden wants me to get... Uh, you get have to read! Books. You, well, you have to read uh, what I have for one of them. I'm not going to show it, but... Yeah. This is what I have, stories-wise, there. Ooh, Chantel. <laughs> That's controlled chaos, well, kind of controlled chaos. I have folders for everything. Don't spot What's Menage a Trois? What are you looking at? Never mind. What? <laughs> it's not porn. What's up, okay. big booty Brazilian babes? <laughs> Yeah, click on that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little intrigued by that. Wait, wait, wait. Virgin Finder? <laughs> yeah. Oh my Dude. gosh. How can they do that with a horse? <laughs> Jaden, you dirty, dirty rascal. Oh, I've seen this one. <laughs> For the record, it's just his Facebook page with Game of Thrones. <laughs> That's true. I didn't well, see that. I pulled up Facebook. Game of Thrones in that, though, man. Game of Thrones released its first trailer today, everybody. Game of Thrones oh, actually works. For season six. Than horse messing. <laughs> <laughs> At least the first season. Oh god! At least the first little boy out the window. Have all of you and seen his it? His dogs no. just looking you down have? at him. No, I just know that there's a short man in it. Tyrion. Uh, yeah, the imp. Yeah, and also a kid that gets like his head blown off or something. Really? <laughs> Probably blown. I'm thinking of. I know he got thrown off the tower. I'm yeah, thinking of like Macbeth. The little boy just gets. <laughs> thinking all right. The little boy just gets thrown I'm not off really the tower. thinking of Macbeth. His dogs looking at him. So, what, what are you? Uh, uh, no, but I can, uh, I attest to what you're saying about it, it's chaos when it comes to writing a story. Oh, yeah. I've been working, great, great success story. I've been working on a certain series since the summer of my, like, between junior and senior year. And in April, I lost the flash drive oh. with everything of the story on it. All, right, all the updated information. Everything else was just templates. And that's another good thing about uh, writing. It teaches you just to really move on. Oh, yeah. Well, here's the interesting thing, though. I, ha I have to use my laptop to charge my iPod. I don't have my iPod with me, but um, it's a little nano. And so I use my laptop, and I plug it in, and it comes up with uh, that basic thing whenever you plug something USB port-wise in. And I'm just like, huh, expecting it to be nothing but the music thing. And I see a folder yeah. titled my that story. I'm like... Clicked it. There's a couple word documents with the titles of all that I lost. I was like, "Is this really it?" Pulled it up. I exploded with euphoria. I was so yeah, I've been god happy. Too. Oh, it's like when you lose your puppy and then you find it again. Oh, about three years later. Three years later. As long as that puppy's not dead. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, it's it's just that's like finding minutes. You just keep the dream alive. Just keep the dream alive. Plant the garden. <laughs> I wonder why those crops were growing so well. Uh, no, I'm like, shoot, man. No, you're just like, mom, down, grandpa. Oh. Yeah, he was down the road, trying to get his ass away from you. Uh, 
<laughs> this is like the shining now. Oh, just a little. Or the bloody hall and everything. The bloody hall. Oh, yeah. You have the ghosts. Two girls. Uh, everything. Uh, red rum. Two girls. One girl. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. oh, wait. Nope, nope. We're going to cut that story. We're going to shut that door right there. Um, you, sir, are probably... Oh, my God. We're done with you. Uh, <laughs> Get more comfortable. You are probably the biggest Harry Potter fan I've ever met in my life. Not really. Praise Voldemort. <laughs> Oh, so he's not a Harry Potter fan, he's just a Harry Potter character fan. No, I actually well, the like series. Harry Potter. I love the series. I hate Harry. <laughs> you hate Harry? Oh, yeah. yeah he likes to show it. Why do you, explain why you hate Harry. <laughs> That's a thing about round glasses. Yes. I don't know what it is. <laughs> really, right? Round glasses make it's you look like... Especially when you can uh, see through them. Right? Yeah, it makes you look like somebody that's about to get shot in the back of the head. <laughs> okay. You want to know something that really grinds my gears, though? Huh. Oh. People who wear shades inside. Right? Yeah, like, it makes no sense. Like what? Is your phone oh, hey, Bond? <laughs> <laughs> he, he had requested to wear his hat and glasses, and well, I respect like, that. Exactly what future is so blindingly bright that you have to shade them, that you have to shade your innocent eyes from them in doom? But, but see, if you look at that light right there, you can see how bright people's future is, but then if you look out that dark window, there's my future. Yeah. <laughs> well, it is 5.30 and... It's all good. A little right. dark. Oh, I didn't time this, so it I don't know how... It is incredibly dark. Oh, my God. Screw! Screw the whole setting back time. Oh, yeah, we don't oh. do that. Like, we need to set it forward a little bit. Uh, because I know, especially when I did uh, winter sports back in high school, and this happened. Hockey? No. Ice fishing. No, I managed basketball. No. Oh. And I was a part of Scholar's Bowl. Oh, oh bowling. Oh. Good, good. No, trivia. Goodness. I thought we were talking about it. Tim. Oh, Lord. <laughs> but I'm a smart bowling. kid, remember this. I graduated with a 3.99. Smart, smart kids go bowling too. Smart kids go bowling. Not sports. actual. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Is it the other part? Okay, go on, go on, go on. I just but I don't want to keep it. The this time, I mean, just all this, like, becoming dark at 5.30 made you think that, oh my gosh, I have to eat dinner at, like, 3. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy stuff. I don't mm. know. Eating. The earth is crazy moving. stuff. Crazy stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what do you do, then? These two have interesting things about them, but you're just here. I have no interesting things about me. <laughs> Actually, plenty see his lovely that's hair. True. That's true. That's a nice haircut. Although, and his yeah. good choice in pretty <laughs> fabrics. What are you doing? Rinse the roof. Rinse the roof. Well, I ain't writing papers, but I am a uh, graphic design. I work with uh, Photoshop and all that. I'm pretty sure this dude helped us with the new Creative Claws logo. Oh, nice. Where can I? Is that on? the is there a Facebook page or something I can find that on? I believe so, but as I do not have a Facebook or any sort of social uh, network life whatsoever, I would not know. Oh, Cal College Creative Clause. Looky there. <clears throat> By the way, that's a nice picture. I feel like that's updated. It is probably very outdated. Uh, well, last update was November 30th of this year. What? Yeah, last update. For a picture? No, 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 just, just, I can find out when that picture was. Oh, yeah, yeah. November 30th, last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last There's Marlis. Marlis is There's amazing. Lucia. Lucia! We gotta get Lucia on here. This is becoming, like, a men's fest, because we haven't had a single female on here. Is that well, that's, that's not a lie. We have a female in the room. We have yeah, one. We do. Uh, Hi, Anna. She just doesn't want to, she doesn't okay, like so this. this picture was taken, yeah. oh, this is definitely taken. Last year. Yeah, technically last school year. Because they got Clifton, they got, uh... Who? Oh, Clifton. Clifton. Oh, Cl Clinton. Clinton. Like Bill Clinton. Yeah, Clinton. Yeah. Crank. This is not, um... And Lucia, and... I was gonna go with Hillary, but to each their own. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> we're not gonna... Oh, we're not gonna get political. Oh, wait, this Ray, podcast is not bad political. The Reese's Cup finally kicked in, damn it. The Reese's Cup. He poisoned my Reese's Cup. <laughs> Never accept any sort of chocolates from Bond because he has already built an immunity to whatever poison he's put in there. He's <laughs> that guy. That's right. No, he's that guy. I'm seriously. Halloween. Right now, he would, he would be that guy in Denver handing out those uh, pot gummy bears. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, on the back of his white van. Oh, vodka gummy While wearing bears. this. 
while we're in that. Vodka's yeah. even worse than that. No, no, no. Kaden, that's I not true. Get it right. I'd be in a nice black hoodie, all that. Mm. And have people recognizing him. You gotta admit, I don't think I've worn a sweater to this show ever. So this is the first. Yeah, you're being very festive. Tim, what was that about the. Which is weird. Logo? Not playing the logo? Oh, the Creative Glossary. Did they make a new one? No, did you, Shout uh. Did, ugly sweater. Did he say something about it to you guys? Uh, no, sweater that's the art club. Oh, the art club. The art club is great, by the way. If you're interested, you should do it. Yeah, they, a lot if of you're tricks. an artsy person. Yes. Last time they went to Kansas City. It was amazing. Maybe they can make cool. you an artsy person. Cool. That's or true. true. Sorry, not cool. Have you ever done modern art? I mean, my, my, my thing for modern art is always like, there we go. That's art. Take a picture of it. Bam. Cut. Print. Done. Art. Seriously, there's like a laundry bin in a New York uh, art yeah. museum. Yeah. If you take a really? picture, if, yeah. you if you take a picture of a laundry bin in the middle of the street in a crowded area, then it's art. If you yeah. take a picture, you gotta make it black and white first. Yeah, you gotta make it black and white to uh, make an allegory to racism <laughs> and the struggle. <laughs> this is art. Yeah. It's all about well, to make this like art right now. I'm gonna signal my future editing self to make for 30 seconds. This from now, this go black and white. Well, no, no, it's gonna be black and white. Too, so it's gonna look cool. Uh, draw us, give us all cool little features. Like, uh, give me, a, give me a little mustache or something. Yeah, I can't do that. Smile. Smile maker. Oh, so okay, I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take over this. Up. How was your, how was your Thanksgiving? What, what did you do? Oh, Thanksgiving did happen. What? Um, I went home. Yeah, I went home for the first time since Labor Day. Uh, I won't say where I live, but, <laughs> but uh, he lives in Newark. In what? I don't know. Middle Earth. Mi oh. Wait, Newark? Huh. Oh, well, that's, that's New York. <laughs> but but no, I went home oh, and I saw my family again. Saw my grandfather. Oh, funny little thing. I came back last Sunday and I was doing some health uh, homework, you know, finalizing some stuff. And my computer got to like 21% battery. I was like, hmm, I should charge it. I had forgotten my charger at home. <laughs> Savage. That's when you say so, Google Docs. Well, my grandfather, thank God for this man. I absolutely love him. He lives in Texas. He was leaving where we live to get back to um, Texas, and he dropped off my charger for me. Oh. I was like, thank you. <laughs> I would have, like, I can go a few days without my laptop at school. Yeah. But three weeks, I would have shot myself. That's important stuff yeah. on there. You will fail your classes. Yes. And then those big you booty will... Brazilian babes can't lose those. You yeah. can't. Those help you study. Are you kidding really, me? Really, right? Because the testosterone <laughs> running, it gets the brain thinking, it gets it focused on that paper and it down. Oh yeah, don't do Adderall. Don't don't do Adderall. Focus on the cheaper alternatives, <laughs> Ritalin. It might do more damage to your liver, but it's a okay for staying up for a week straight. What about Concerta? What? It's the same thing. Ritalin and Concerta are the yeah. exact same thing. Yeah. Oh. Huh. It's just yeah, a different label. I love how, like, back in high school especially, two or three people would come to me. Yeah. Uh, Hold on. Let me, let me perfectly read it. Because the mood. I think I know how it goes. Yeah, get in the mood. Is, it, sure is it buying Ritalin or is it... Is it uh, no, at? they would just tell me about Adderall and what they... Hey, man. Hey, man. We got some of this Adderall. Yeah. Hey, man. I hope hey, man, you want you. focus. Hey man, you want to focus on some you stuff. You want to pass those classes. Yeah, you want to pass go to college. Hey, yo, I get a good grade. I'll make sure you get them past this class. Is that why you're a 3.99? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll We're make gonna sure. help you get those grades up. I'll make sure you get them past this class in absolutely no time whatsoever. <laughs> All I need is $80 for this fill bottle right here. It's empty. It's past this class. We are so getting canceled after this episode. Just it's an empty bottle. bottle. It's not for the trust. It's filled with hope. It's in dreams. Yeah, the, the, the sad thing is people will, in, in desperate times, they will sell their Adderall in order to make a quick buck here or there, or, uh, from their point of view, help their friends in the school. Yeah, but no, I graduated with a 3.99 because I paid attention and I did my work. Instead of paying for drugs, which is yes. the here. Yes. Don't that was drugs. because you were extremely compulsive when it came to school work. I was in high school. Oh my goodness, dude! If you gave me an assignment that was due a month from now, I would have it done in two weeks. That's how I worked. It's like half a month. That's good. Yeah, yeah. that's a good trade. Oh, especially my senior year because a lot of my focus was getting scholarships. Yeah. Yeah, they teach you that in junior year you have to focus on everything because this is the year. That's the year that everybody's going to look at everything. It doesn't matter. 
You're either going to go to a university, you're going to go to a college, you're going to go anywhere else, or you're not. Or you're going to join the only dichotomy. Dichotomy. Yeah, you go know, military or you go right to the workforce. That could be it. And for the workforce, uh, good luck finding a job. My buddy actually was going to come to Cali. Tough. There's um, always my solution, uh, living in a box underneath Kellogg. Uh, I bring I, I a van down by the river! <laughs> If you ever want to find me in Wichita, by the way, over by the skate park, a little ways down, there's a nice little box. That's mine. Don't yeah. touch it. Don't touch it. Okay. That's uh, my house. We got dibs. My yeah. buddy, who was originally going to come down here to Cali, um, actually, and this is what a lot of people are doing now, they do apprenticeships, and then they just go right to that job. He's an electrician now. Well, he's yeah. in the apprenticeship. And actually, that's one of the better ways, if you're not doing college, to really establish uh, a current in sort uh, uh, a frequent <coughs> income frequent <laughs> income uh, <laughs> preflux uh, whatever <laughs> of okay. money and so that's a good thing don't be like the guy on the YouTube ads who shows you his Lamborghini then all the you know, books no, and be you like know what I like you know, more than my brand new Lamborghini <laughs> knowledge <laughs> what I more I more than knowledge. What? My new Lamborghini <laughs> that I spent expensive money on. You guys are tools. <laughs> I see the. I you first know what I like more guys. than a uh, uh, the weenie. weenie. The big, big meanie. Yeah, yeah I was well, going to say macaroni. Meanie? <laughs> well, it's that time of the night where it's game time. Game Animation. Do 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 do. It's game time. All right, so the game tonight is movie or comedic movie quotes, and like my lazy self, I did not get a chance to create a PowerPoint, so we're going right off the website. And thanks to nextmovie.com for providing these, the 50th, 50 of the funniest movie quotes. Uh, okay, let's, let's see if you guys can get this one. <clears throat> so, uh, since we have three people, we're gonna do 10 movie quotes, and I give points to either the correct answer, close enough answer or the most creative answer, as usual. Uh, and this will not count towards Samaji or Michael's uh, game score right now. That's three and two, Michael's winning that, so hopefully curious if Samaji will come back in the next episode. <clears throat> so, here we go, the first one. Surely you can't be serious. Airplane. Ah, damn. Dang, <laughs> right off the I know bat. that one's right. <laughs> was that like all of it? Or? No, no surely you can't be not. serious. I am serious. Don't call me Shirley. We might have a domination tonight. I'm gonna scroll a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> that Reese's is really taking effect. Okay, so point to Tim. One. <laughs> point to Tim, and uh, wait for me to actually read the rest of the or the entire quote. Okay, even if you get it. Um, here's the second one. Usually, one must go to a bowling alley to meet a woman of your stature. Big Lebowski? No, no. Okay. Not the Big Lebowski. Okay. Uh, could you give me an actor? No, just the quote. Oh, just the quote. Just the oh, quote. Me. This oh. is not like dumb Google quote or dumb Google search where I gave hints. Usually, you have to go to a bowling alley. Tyler. I will say this. Movie year. I'll give the movie year actually. Okay. 1981. 1981. No. Trains, planes, and automobiles. Okay. So 1981. Hey. That's so far off. He just, he just whispered in my ear, he's like, uh, what was it, Scooby-Doo Monsters Unleashed? <laughs> yeah, that's 1982. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, my Monsters goodness. Unleashed. What are you going to guess, Dave? Man, you know what? I'm not even going to guess. I'm so right. lost. Give something creative. Something. Lost, the TV series. There, Lost, the TV okay. series. Me right now. Even I don't think that's creative. <laughs> it's not creative. Well, that's hard. I'm going to give the I'm gonna give the point to Bond. That that seems like probably the big Lebowski. Yeah, yeah, that's a derogatory it's the only term. Bowling movie I even know. Dude. Yeah. Well, because it has something to do with bowling. So, <laughs> anyways, um, oh, okay. So well, the movie was uh, well, no, creative or anything I like. No, I'm, I'm just gonna say it? anything Grand Theft Auto Four. When he's like <laughs> Nico, let's but that go was from, uh, That was from the movie Arthur. Uh, Did you see? Have you seen it? Because yeah. I have. <laughs> so right now it's one zero one. 101, Vault 101, Fallout 3. Promotion. Do it. I just found a Big Lebowski quote, too. I'm not going to read it. <laughs> no, read it. Read, no, it. read it. Just read oh, here it. We go. Not even a question. No, but this one, Bond should know this one. 
All right, this one, this movie is from 1980. Okay, we're on a mission from God. We're on a mission from God. Are you saying I should know? We're on a mission from God. God. No, I'm Are saying you? you should know because you look exactly like the folks in the picture. Oh. Oh. So wait, is this like the Exorcist? So I, uh, no. Well, I don't think I mean, it is. Shoot. No. I, I, I can look it up real quick. But Poltergeist, I don't know if I can Google. Wait. It's from 1980. Was Poltergeist the night yeah. before? I don't know. Yeah, maybe. It was, uh, oh, like, everybody say bye, bye, Anna. Bye, Anna. Uh, <laughs> Anna, one girl that was in here, now she's here. She can't put up with us. <laughs> And you need to return it as fast as possible. Don't let, don't let the door slam, please. Okay, bye. What, what was it? Uh, How I Learned to Love the Bomb? No, that was 1962. Also, about the same. It's Dr. Strange Love, How I Learned to Love the Bomb. Okay, yeah, so there, it's. I can't say, but these people are tasked to save an orphanage. <gasps> Blues Brothers! Oh. Yep. Uh, I <laughs> yep. He After said it was like you. In prison, yeah. Jane reunites with his brother Elwood. That's where I remember it. Collect yeah, because this is a sign for a guy. Yeah. All right. So two zero one. Kate, you are failing. I'm not gonna get hey. any. I'm telling you now. Give him, a, give him an easy one. Give let me, let me, don't give me anything. <laughs> okay, I can't do that one because we we've already done that. Uh, you got this. I believe in you. I do not believe in myself. I'm trying to find a, a recent movie on here. We have to ask the audience okay. at home. Clap for here, me. Here we Clean go. Me. Here we go. Um, this movie is from 1994. All right. Just when I thought you couldn't possibly possibly be any dumber, you go and do something like this and totally redeem yourself. <gasps> Dumb and dumber. I fucking was like, oh my goodness, something clicked in my head and I was like, I got this and then <laughs> Yeah, don't tap your feet. Give him the point. No, don't give me the point. No, Bob, don't give the point. Two so zero two. God, you two. If, if they both get the, if they the, both, no, if they both get to five, and I'm still at zero. There's gonna be a nice little cutscene. I'm just gonna vanish. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's. And I get both the chairs. Well, now I'm not sure. Get five. Okay, here we go. This, no, that's. I want to find a 2000 movie because that'll help Caden a lot. Yeah. Oh my goodness. All right, here we go. Don't make this. This is not a, only a 2007 movie. There's also a Seth Rogen movie. Oh, come on, come on, you guys. Okay. I don't want to do this. And uh, Gay Caden gets the first guess. Don't even do that nice. to me. Don't put me on the spot. <laughs> Marriage so is like a tense, don't unfunny episode of Everybody Loves Raymond. Only it does not last 22 minutes. It lasts forever. Dude, don't even ask me. I'm terrible when it comes to movies. It's a Seth Rogen film from 2007. I know no movies. I'm, I'm, I'm looking. I'm looking deep into the audience's eyes right now. I know no movies. What? I didn't even hear you. <laughs> They're trying to help him out. <laughs> I swear it is. It's something like that. It also means what? something after you drink a lot of alcohol. <clears throat> I didn't even catch the whole name. Just I know it. According to Tim here. Do you have it? Make a wait, wait, wait. What did you say there was? Is it The Hangover? Uh, no, it's super bad. No, it's not that either. Good. You said it happens after you drink shoot, alcohol. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I know, I should have said something else. Um, I think it may have made fun of it. Is that it? Is that it? No. Is that even a movie? Yeah, Seth Rogen made one that was like... Seth Rogen 2007, it's Knocked Up. Knocked Up? <laughs> that's not how you get drunk. Did anyone hear? <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. That's, that's what keeps you just from getting drunk. Just wait. Did that's anyone it? in this yes. room see this? This just shows how much I know about anyone, alcohol. Did anyone in here see that movie? No. If a girl is knocked okay. up, dude, she can't drink. Oh, that's she's true. She's gonna stop from drinking. Yeah, it's also a boxing term. I was about to feel really like okay. dumb if everyone no, in here knew no, this I movie haven't, except haven't seen me. It before. I'm just. You know what, Kane? To give you the benefit of doubt, I'm giving you a point. Why not? Don't give me a point. Two, one, two. No, dude, dude don't no. Do pity. Yeah, I'm getting, no, I'm taking that pity point. I'm turning it into negative, so now I'm at negative one. Shut up! Oh, you're every, at zero. No, every every pity okay, point I get goes. Go to the next. You're at negative zero. Okay. Negative one. This is a 2010 movie. Okay, 2010. You learned to dance like that sarcastically? Question mark. <sighs> It involves <laughs> cops. <laughs> Tom Cruise. It is, he gets hit in the face with a Will wooden Ferrell. gun. I know it's Will Ferrell. Um, I have to think of this other actor's name. Dude, he gets hit in the face with a wooden gun. I can't remember. That's not the other guys. Yeah! 
Kane actually got it! Yeah, now I'm at zero. Oh, you're at one. No, no you're at zero. Because at that, of that pity point, I'm back. I'm now at zero. I don't care. Official scoreboard, one. Official scoreboard. Yeah. Everybody has a two. No. We're all equal. No. Well, you're all equal. Wait, what? I'm above you all. Um, racist. How many points are you at? So racist. I'm the host. Right? The one the day host. I don't yeah. have my one, no, so I can't not, have bad Let's not discuss that. Um, oh, oh. 1987. May the Schwartz be with you. Oh, oh, I want to play baseball. Bam, nah, it's got it first. <laughs> Somebody's doing a presentation on that tomorrow in my comp one class. Oh god. It's space I know, right? Yeah. It's not safe for work. Balls. Man, a schwarz free with you. It's not safe for work. Hey, my schwarz gets space. tangled. Balls in space. Okay. <laughs> so three, two, three. Where one, are we two. at? So we're four plus the three is seven. Wait, okay. wait. So we have three more. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to. I've lost track of how many. Well, actually, if we're counting his points, I got one. You get a pity point. Three, one. Oh, no, two. I gave him a creative point. Alright. No, was, gave him a crazy point. That was a pity for you. Okay, uh, <laughs> a two, another 2007 movie. Okay. He is the sweetest guy. Have you ever looked into his eyes? I Superman. swear. Mm. Let me read the full quote. But Tim got it. I swear it was like the first time I heard the Beatles. Beatles. And it is super bad. God. <laughs> Jonah Hill, you magnificent, magnificent man. <laughs> Jonah Hill is amazing. First Have guys you get possessed in the apocalypse. <laughs> oh, I still haven't seen that movie. I need really? to. Really? Yeah. It's worth it. It's okay. Oh. So where are you at? Four now? Four, so two, two. Well. So we got two more to this go. Yeah. Yeah. So one of you could tie with him. Bond could tie with yeah. him. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even say one of you. We know who it is. I don't want to do that movie. I don't want to do that one. Why? Why not? Because do it. I it. Have we already done Don't miss out. I got one point, and I'm telling you to do it. Do it. <laughs> you have two points. Don't back down. I got one point. Now do it. Okay, okay. here we go. Here we go. 2001 movie. Okay. How can we be expected to teach children how to read if they can't even fit inside the building? Man, what's that called? Oh my goodness. I, like, know <laughs> this movie. I, I can't even know, think. actually. That's the, I think that's the one about, um, uh... About the, it's like the mother, the mother and uh, the teacher, and they're trying to make the schools better, or something like that. No. Is that it? Okay. No, it's not the sure three scare juice. No, it's not three. Oh my goodness. That came out in two thousand seven, right? Uh, has to deal with a photogenic fashion model, and they're coming out with a second one. The Incredibles. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> not a single one of us know this. What's his no. name? Ben Stiller. <gasps> Zoolander! Yeah! <laughs> yep, okay, it, it, we can't tie. Yeah, there's no tie, so thus Tim yeah. is declared the winner. No, wait, 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 was that all? all right. I still want to keep but going. I'll, 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 give, go I'll, I'll throw the last one out there. I'll okay, throw, let's do the last one anyways. One more. I gotta scroll back up a little more. Because that was the fifth. Okay, here we go. Everyone knows you never go full retard. Uh, Rolling Thunder. Huh? Or Tropical Thunder. Tropic Thunder. Tropic Thunder. Thunder. Tropic Thunder. Tropic. Jesus. Yeah. I knew it. I just, okay. I, just I just couldn't think of the name. I'm at two now, yes. <laughs> I got that two points. Regardless, final score five, three. Eight. <laughs> three, two. Tim is declared the winner of tonight. See, you beat someone. I got two. I got a pity point. <laughs> no, oh, was that was not a pity point. That was very much a you pity point. Very pity point. point. It was a very pity point. So my diary of no Van pity point. Your diary of Van Frank made me want to throw something at you. <laughs> yeah, I got a lot, Speaking actually. Speaking of which, we were actually doing diary of Van Frank, and at 7.30, I'm going in for callbacks. And that's why I oh, said that's it. Oh, right? yes. wait, 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 Tim. Michael! Who Tim. did you audition for? I mean, that's it. Oh no, that's why I said it. You what? Oh, I don't know. I just thought oh, 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 Michael lied to us, guys. He did not lie to us. He was getting ready for it the last time I talked to him. He had scripts out and everything. He was going hardcore in the role because if you've seen him during the Crucible, which I had the pleasure of working alongside him, he takes his acting methods very, very seriously. It was spent like was all day. The years. Crucible. We're talking about uh, Arthur which Miller's. Arthur Miller's. Miller's. Yep. Okay. Yep. I almost forgot his name. They'll spend all day looking over the script in yeah, practice, sure. just to make sure. Mm -hmm. Well, I will probably roll up the script and take it out two weeks before the show. Hmm. 
I've only been in two productions in my life, one eighth grade, one junior year. What were they? Uh, my eighth grade one was Fiddler on the Roof. That's nice. I was a Russian because they needed someone else and I took the offer. Um, it was fun. And then my last position was um, going, but <laughs> what's, okay, it has to deal with a woman wanting to go back to a town in Texas. Starts with a B, I feel like. B -b 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 going back to something. B -b 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 Benny and the Jets. <laughs> <laughs> but it has to do with that. I could probably hit up uh, some of my old friends and see if from Bank my high school. I, I was in a play before. I was uh, I was the K in my preschool performance of the alphabet. <laughs> I was the I was the L. Oh, I'm gonna find this real quick. That's crazy. Hey, you two were together back then. No. Nope. No. No. Uh, he, he was just L and I was K. Oh, Jeez. I can't remember it. And now I'm T, so moving up in the world. All right, I'll figure it out later, and I'll probably and be I'm like so dumb. So. <laughs> but I wow. College. I wouldn't be too bad. For that. College. <laughs> college <laughs> and yeah, college and getting pity right, points right, on that. Right. Right. Well, Fuck. thank you guys so very much for watching. It's been enjoyable hanging out with these guys. I haven't really gotten a chance to actually sit down and talk with them before. Um, We're gonna get a wraparound couch for the next show. <laughs> I wish. Maybe. I don't know what happened to the two chairs. We're there's gonna have to hunt them down. There's only one way that we can do this: being bad chairs for everyone. No. Being bad. We're gonna be, we're gonna be that group. We're gonna this be that episode group. should be released on it's Monday, really December seventh. My mother's birthday. Happy birthday to her. Shout out. Um, I don't. Not, I'm not gonna say how old she's turning because she'll shoot me. <laughs> yeah. She's turning yeah. 21. Always. Oh, always. She looks extremely. Oh, yeah. Always. She's extremely young. Always. I would totally uh, take her to dinner. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> <laughs> My mom I does watch these though. Here. Hi mom. <laughs> Hi mom. Well thank you everybody for watching. I'll catch y'all later. Bye. Caitlin, they just watched a video. What do you think they should do? They should like and subscribe. If not, we're gonna play a game.